Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for December 7th, 2020. December 7th, the day which lives in infamy. Um, please take the time today to remember um, that attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, although they are going on with remembrance at Pearl Harbor, the annual remembrance, um, just keep in mind that COVID has changed everything that will be live streamed on the internet today if you want to participate. So folks, we have a market that you got to give it up to the bulls. Even though the jobs numbers came out indicating a substantial pullback from expectation, didn't bother the bulls at all. They just rushed into the market on Friday, pushing all four of our major indexes to new record highs. So what do we got here this morning? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we are kicking things up here um, off of the morning lows. We saw futures pushing down overnight. But we're getting that morning pump going on. Um, it seems to be a relentless pump anymore. Um, and, and it really comes in, uh, you know, the form of vaccine news, um, institutional news. There just is a barrage of, of institutional um, news coming out where they're pumping a, a restart to the economy on 2021. But in the short term, we have issues where California is um, going into a statewide stay-at-home order and other states around the country are continuing to add more and more restrictions to businesses. Um, we are seeing that economic impact starting to grow on the economy. And although we're trying to ignore um, the impacts of that, we just have to respect the fact that we could at some point in time, the market could suddenly begin to care that um, we have these rising COVID numbers and a massively rising death number. As our hospitalizations continue to grow, taxing the healthcare system, the market has just been um, laser focused on um, you know, the hope of 2021 recovery. And I hope for that as well, that the vaccines will do their job and will be on our road to recovery. And also the, the hopefulness of a stimulus package coming our way. But one thing I want to point out is if suddenly the market does decide to care about these impacts to the economy, just the um, tremendous pain that there could be in the market if we do get that selling wave or that pullback in, uh, that occurs. Now, right now, the Dow futures are pointing to a gap down of 112 points as I, as I speak right now, but you can see it's pumped up way off of the lows of the overnight. And so far, we're still seeing those bulls um, really willing uh, to push hard. There just seems to be no price too high as we continue to press and press and press this market higher. But just keep in mind that if we were to slip, there are some pretty substantial pullbacks that could be on the way. So be careful not to chase, even though we um, all get that fear of missing out that we're we were missing out on this move. Don't rush in at the last minute um, into stocks that are already pushed up um, significantly off of their support levels in charts. And we have a lot of chart examples of stocks that are really looking very, very parabolic. So please be careful of those. So right now, let's take a look. Um, at diamonds, um, we do have this uptrend going on and the long-term uptrend continues to remain very, very bullish. We push through some resistance levels in the chart. We're trying to hold that up here. We broke through that wedge that we talked about last week, pushing up to the upside. You got to give it up to the bulls. They're just is a relentless appetite for buying up this market. If we take a look at our technicals of the chart, however, there are some concerns here that we're getting a little, well, we have been and that we continue to remain quite stretched out here in the market. And that possibility of a pullback 
if that were to begin, it could be pretty painful. So be careful not to chase on this market. Just notice how far we are away from our 50-day moving average. And it's very, very common when we push a long ways away from our 50-day moving average, we come back for a test. So just keep that in mind. Don't, don't forget days like this. Remember when all of a sudden the market decided to care? and it reverses really, really fast. So be careful that you're not over trading in this market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY continues to stretch out, um, really pushing away from that 50 day moving average. And once again, I want, just want to remind that as we push away, we get those days where we suddenly decide to care about um, what's happening out there in the world and we get a pretty substantial pullback. So just don't be the last person to buy in at the top of the market. Be careful here um, in case that pullback does occur. That doesn't mean that you can't continue to participate in the upside move. I am holding all long trades in the market right now. Well, that's not true. I did pick up a bear call credit spread on a couple of trades, but they're rather passive trades. Um, uh, on Friday. But just keep in mind that um, I'm making really good money to the upside. I'm participating, but I'm being really, really careful and watching closely for that potential of when we could start pulling back. Notice that SPY continuing to try and push on higher here this morning. Once again, just push, 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 push. There's no price too high. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ um, also pushing up this morning. Um, take a look. We've got the NASDAQ. This is the pre-market candle. We're pushing trying to break through this is still trying to get through and hold that level so we broke through made that new record high we're still trying to hold that level up here and we are certainly very very bullish albeit a long ways away from some price support in the chart so just keep that in mind and if we look at iwm iwm has been truly impressive with the big change in the financials and the energy sector continuing to push on out to new record highs now this is one of the indexes right now that i would say that's starting to begin to look like it is becoming a bit on the parabolic side of things so please be careful um once again we may suddenly decide to care and that pullback occurs and it could be really really painful for those jumping in at the last minute let's take a look at the vix whoops the vix um kind of an interesting situation we're really not sinking very hard in the vix and you would think um with such a move up that we've seen over the last several days of trading that we would see more of a decline in the VIX. But as a matter of fact, we've been seeing a hold of a price support level here in the VIX. And we get these intraday pushes back up um, in that. So be careful here. If this suddenly decides to show a little bit of fear, if we do get that pullback uh, to come in the market, and right now Dow futures are showing us 124 points in pullback, maybe that fear starts to roll in just a little bit into the market. However, we're so focused on that 900 bit hopeful a $900 billion uh, stimulus plan and um, focused on vac anything. We, anytime we get some vaccine news, the market hops and pops on that. And it seems like there's just this relentless drive for institutions to inspire people to, to continue to buy. So keep in mind, we may still go higher, even though we're not seeing this fear really, um, really change much here. So watch that carefully. And then if we look at um, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio, this gives me one of the biggest concerns that I have in the market right now. And that is that we are pushing out here to a virtually perfection um, in this indicator and we're very elevated. Now, I've shown you over and over and over again in these uh, videos that we can stay up here elevated for some time, but eventually it it plays out. We kind of run out of buyers for the short term and then that pullback begins. And just remember that pullback does have the potential of being pretty substantial in this market because we've elevated so much.
much. So make sure you're planning your trading very carefully and you're staying focused, not just with the with that uh, desire to hurry up and chase in because uh, you might be late to this rally. Be careful buying right at the end. Let's take a look at T2101. And this is also a concern for me in the market. T21 is the absolute market breadth. And notice as we have been continuing to rally strongly in the market, notice that the market breadth is declining pretty sharply. What that means is we have fewer and fewer stocks able to elevate this market, pushing us higher. So keep that in mind if that market breadth continues to decline as we continue to push higher in the market, we're setting up that opportunity where that pullback could begin at any time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. We do have a few things um, to pay attention to today, but it's really not on the economic calendar. It's going to be on the earnings calendar. Let's take a look. On that economic calendar here, you can see we have virtually nothing here to be worried about on today's calendar. We have a um, couple bond auctions and things like that. But I doubt there's going to be any movement at all in here. But let's notice we do have a few things as we move through the week. That CPI on Thursday is probably going to be the biggest number. And that comes in with those jobless claims that may be starting to show some signs of pressure. So watch that. And then that PPI out here on Friday. So relatively light week overall on the economy um, or on the economic calendar. Let's take a look at earnings, however. We do have a few earnings that we'll wanna pay attention to this morning. And um, by the way, if um, you wanna catch the full list of potential notables, you can jump over to the blog um, by clicking the link just below the title of the video and catch up on all of those um, in the blog that may be notable for the day. Let's just take a look at a few of those. Um, Casey's. Casey's General Store um, reporting this morning, and you can see we're getting a big surge here in Casey's this morning. Must have been a nice little positive report. Let's take a look at the bigger picture of this chart and notice that we have a nice trend here. We've broken through some big resistance levels in the chart, holding those areas as support. And we're really looking at blue sky highs here. So Casey's looking very good. And this is one of those COVID related stocks. They do a lot of, Casey's does a lot of, um, you know, curbside food pickup kind of thing. And that's really done well in uh, the COVID season here. So watch that closely. It may have some more upside in it. Let's take a look. Um, we have Toll. Toll Brothers will be reporting today. Now those builders have been very, very strong, but notice that we have kind of slipped into a sideways pattern here. They rallied, rallied, rallied really, really strong um, with those lowered um, interest rates. But now we may be reaching a point where we're kind of catching some saturation. Um, Every bond that was going to buy um, with those low rates may have already made that move. So watch that in here carefully as we reapproach these resistance highs in that chart. If that can push on through with a good earnings report, we may still have more upside. But if we kind of run up in there and fail, this may be showing us that top is kind of rounding over here just a little bit. So watch that closely on Toll Brothers. Take a look at JKS. JKS reporting today looks like JK Solar looking for a little bit of a decline this morning, pushing down possibly breaking some support here if that pushes on through and we have those lower highs. Uh, solar has been really, really strong um, uh, in that anticipation of the Biden presidency. You can see just rally, 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 rally. And now we're starting to show those lower highs, a little bit of pressure here that maybe we pushed a little bit too far too fast. And if those earnings uh, disappointed, we could slip back below that support. So watch that carefully this morning on JKS. HQY, HQY is another one on the list today. Keep an eye on that. 
pushing up through resistance um, right through this area, but notice that we've pushed right into some additional resistance in the chart here on HQY, and we're trying to test these levels up here. So watch that closely. Um, if you wanna catch the rest of those, again, just make sure you click that uh, link back to the blog to catch the others um, from that list this morning. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up. And please, if you find this video to be worthy, helpful in how you approach the market for the day, without all the hype and the drama that you might see other places, I just wanna focus in on the details of the charts and the things that might be affecting the market here um, moving forward. And if that helps you figure out how you want to approach the market for the day, please help um, us grow the channel and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. And please share this video out on your social media platforms. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I read every comment. I got to tell you, I don't always get the time to answer every comment, but I read every comment and I truly appreciate everyone. Um, you humble me every day with your kind words and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and a few stocks that I've been paying attention to. And uh, please keep in mind that every time I talk about one of these stocks in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. So keep that in mind. You have to do your own due diligence and you should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's analysis of a stock. Make sure it fits you personally. Let's take a look at some stocks that I think have some real potential here. Take a look at AMD. AMD went through a bit of a protracted pullback here, but notice that that pullback held uh, this downtrend with a higher level of support. And now we're pushing up here, trying to break out. Last week, we saw some nice moves here in that chart trying to push through. Now, I'm not going to suggest that this is ready to buy just today, but keep in mind that if we continue to slide over here toward trend, it may be just what the doctor ordered here on AMD. Um, nice little potential upside move could be on the way there on AMD. Take a look at IBM. Now, IBM is not one that I would typically be talking about at all, and I can tell you the reason why is this has just been, I'm going to go to a weekly, this has just been in a down trend since about 2013 an ugly ugly chart but since we covid has changed everything and all of a sudden stocks that were absolutely not loved have rallied substantially so this is that daily chart on ibm and notice that we're pushing up here we're breaking some downtrends here in this chart and we're holding them as support and you can see those bulls on friday pushed in here on that move. Now, I wouldn't want to really chase such a big move up on Friday if you haven't, if you're not already in, but watch this. If this kind of consolidates in here back toward this trend a little bit, there may be some opportunity there in IWM or IBM, and it's looking really, really strong here at the moment. Now, of course, we still have the bigger downside trend that we may have to challenge, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, kind of interesting to see IBM perking back up. Um, might be interesting to some folks out there in picking up some value on a stock like that. Marvel, I've been watching Marvel here and I was thinking this was going to move on higher, but we suddenly got this substantial pullback here. Let's watch this carefully. We've broken some support here in this chart. So if you are so inclined to be looking for some kind of short trade, Marvel may fit the bill here. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this right now. I'd want to see a little bit of rally back and a failure at resistance in here. And then I would be looking at a possible short there in Marvel if we get that problem coming into play. Take a look at UUP, UNP. Um, UNP had a nice little move here on Friday pushing back up. We've got an interesting pattern here. And if you kind of squint a little bit, you might see that opportunity for an inverted head and shoulders. And right up here would be the neckline of that potential move. So if this little bullishness right in here can play out and pop on through, there may be some more upside. We know shipping has been doing really, really well as everybody's buying online. Um, we're seeing these railroads hold up pretty well. So keep an eye on UNP. Take a look at Urban Outfitters. 
um, retail has been also a very strong sector of the market. And notice that we're running in a nice little trend. We're pushing uh, above some support levels and we're holding in here. So watch this as we slide over here to our trend. There may be some opportunities on Urban Outfitters to push on up. Uh, keep a close eye on that. We're seeing a lot of those retail stocks doing the same kind of thing. Um, in in the market um, lots of them looking good let's take a look at some other stocks um, that might be of interest take a look at aaps a lot of members of the right way options uh, group have been um, watching this one pretty closely and i mentioned this several times here lately the last few days and if we take a look at that nice little rally in the chart nice little move here where we've kind of consolidating and uh, that breakout let's keep an eye on this as this pushes over here toward trend there may be that opportunity here in APPS pretty good looking chart um, overall take a look at General Motors General Motors a uh, pretty interesting chart now while this is just a zooming up move there's news out today that their new Bronco may be um, really picking up some attention here um, in in the marketplace as um, an off-road vehicle so keep an eye uh, eye on General Motors here notice that we've got um, a pretty parabolic move here in this chart we've kind of stretched out from even this trend higher but if this consolidating pullback does react to this area in this trend there may be some more upside here but don't be too surprised if that just kind of slips slide sideways over here to that bigger trend uh, for that opportunity to move up but general motors looking good on the same um, in the same sector ford has been really really strong continuing to hold up and whoops setting up that opportunity that it may be consolidating here across this um, trend and just waiting for that next upside move also places that you may want to look if you're looking for some dividend yield take a look at khc Kraft heinz coming up out of this um you know, kind of an ugly little pattern in here, but coming up and breaking through some resistance levels, holding that support, starting to show that trend in this chart. Watch this KHC moving up. Um, AT&T is another that you might want to keep an eye on. And one that I may pick up as a longer term hold. Notice we're breaking these downtrends, holding this upside trend, just continuing to push on through. Now I wouldn't want to chase it right here, a little more rest or pullback, and uh, there may be that opportunity. And I would look for AT&T just to come back up to the mid range. Not, I'm not worried about them coming all the way back up into here. Just coming right back up here into the mid range would be a pretty nice gain in that chart. So there's a few charts for you to look at today and maybe consider. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Looks like we've got a little bit of bearishness coming into the market right now, but nothing major. We've had um, those futures surge back higher here in the Dow. We're only down 89 points. So watch that closely. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.